we need standards. Standards are useful. Standards are like, so, so it's very easy to make this connection to, to prosperity. If you have standards, you uphold standards. Standards serve the truth and they serve prosperity. And they allow for an easier time at getting things that are really quality. So think about healthcare, healthcare in the 80s. You know, imagine living in Boston, Massachusetts in the 1980s and accessing healthcare. That's about as good as it gets. Imagine being Ronald Reagan and going to Walter Reed Hospital. You would get the absolute best care. Imagine being alive in the, in the early 1990s and going to the hospital in Seattle. You would get the absolute best health care in the history of the world. It's when, when you zoom out a bit and you see that it was just a little flicker on the horizon for a second, like that promise of quality care, of, of like competitive bidding for services, prices on services, and like an educated workforce. It was the briefest little glimmer on the horizon. You know, human history has been just carnage. And for about 200 years, it was good. And it was particularly good for about 30 of those 200 years. <laughs> uh, for about 20 years before, 20 years before, um, it's pretty wild. It's like 40 years, 40 of the 200, you know, 20 years before World War I. And then like a little bit of a nice time in the 50s and then a little bit of nice time in the 80s and the 90s. And that was obviously, you know, everyone has their issues with the 80s and the 90s, obviously. But standards... They're like a, they're a model or an example and a standard even just from the word itself, it has to do with like a, um, like a base or a support. You can build upon standards. If standards are maintained, you can build upon that. Um, but I do want to talk standards like personally, because there's a price for not upholding standards. If you do not have standards, if you do not think about standards with any regularity, there is a price for that. We live in this time of relativism where people think that all oh, my concepts and my bullshit and whatever I fucking spew out of my mouth is equal to what you say. That's a pretty dangerous situation to be in. Pretty dangerous situation. There's a there's a huge like midwit thing going on where people have their biases. They go out, they go on the internet, and then they have their biases confirmed to them, and then they they're like in, they're in they're intellectually vain, and then they rage out when things like do not conform to their expectations. <laughs> it's really dangerous, dude. It's a really, it's a really dangerous situation right now. And it, you know, it happens everywhere. It happens all across the spectrum because people just don't have standards all around. There's this, there's this misnomer, right? There's this misnomer that goes on. That's like, oh, the, um, the people we elected, they're not serving the people. Oh, these politicians, they just get in there and they become corrupted. It's like, but this is just how people are. Like people get the smallest little dose of power and influence in this world and they become complete sellouts. They complete, they become complete abusers and power and influence, power and influence can be like the littlest thing. It can be like getting assistant manager. It can be like um, getting, uh, getting an inheritance. It can be like getting consumer credit off of some job that you were lucky to get or something standards. We're going to get into a conversation about this, but so people have this big harangue, like, ah, oh, the people in Congress, they're so corrupt. You take the money too. half you, have you suckers who are complaining about to take the money too. go straight to people's heads. People think there's some hot shot and it goes and they let it go straight to their head. That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. People get a modicum of influence or the illusion of it because really it's the illusion of influence. You know, the Lucifer is working in dark ways these days. People get a modicum of influence and they're like hot shots. 